Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at these super attacks that you can farm and the Kai's that you can grind in DBZ Dark Metal right now. Obviously there's a lot going on so if you're managing to find time to grind then all credit to you and if you're managing to time fine find time to grind super attacks it's also very important but you should probably do it anyway uh, as it is something that is quite valuable now i'll be talking mainly about temporary events i won't be focusing on permanent events but there's tons of super attacks you can farm all the time if you need more help on how to use characters to farm uh, you can obviously take a look at my video that i'll link in the top right hand corner but basically let's start off uh, so you have the fusion reborn event there is a final form freezer remember you can't use freezers that are not just final form so like full power freezers etc they don't count they don't work out too good and then obviously next up you know we have the miracle of universe 7 event this event features quite a few uh, units but only one is really usable in that we have the int android 18 and krillin very very solid unit very good unit incredibly good uh, basically um, like the latest superheroes unit and you can use them to increase your super attack level which is pretty good so yeah then on top of that as well uh, we move into the master roshi event obviously featuring master roshi there you go surprise surprise uh, and master roshi very straightforward as well so super duper straightforward master roshi very very good uh, and yeah basically you can use them for the tech master roshi there's quite a few master roshis that you can use um so it's pretty cool from that aspect right then next we obviously have the margin brew event now here you actually get the um here you actually get the chocolates which you will then need to convert into the characters through the bubble shop but there are three characters here that you can use quite well. So you have the Gohan uh, team, you have the Goten, and of course you also have the Goku Angel. Now the Goku Angel doesn't really work for quite a few units, but the Gohan team definitely does work very, very well. Uh, and then you also have the Goten, also works very, very well uh, as well. So I think all in all, that's really, really good. Of course, um, yeah, overall, uh, I think everything else is pretty solid um, and I think everything works out you know, pretty well um, yeah at least for me then obviously from there yeah we have uh, yeah how can I say um, we have the universe 6 event this has a Vados and a hit uh, and a Champa which is pretty cool so we have uh, Champa and we have Vados again very straightforward with these ones. Uh, Hit, Vados, Chompa, all very usable for a lot of summonable characters. Hit especially, but Chompa and Vados also very, very straightforward. So that's pretty cool and that's you know, pretty straightforward as well. Then, of course, you know, after that, uh, basically we're all pretty good to go. Moving down into the Universal Survival Saga event, you have Android 17 and 18. Uh, pretty good overall, to be honest with you. Um, I think for me, like a very, very, very good um, setting, very, very good, you know, two units to use a lot. You can't use them for Android 17, 18 future, but there's a ton of Android 17s and Android 18s that you can use uh, to benefit from a lot from this. Like physical Android 17, obviously you have a couple of LRs that start out as just Android 17, like the Int LR. You also have quite a few, like uh, just general um how can i say like lrs across the board are all very easy to use and very very good so that's all really really solid now moving on from there uh, and going to the next event which is also universal survival saga flared we have a kale and a califla so they both can be transformed both become super saiyan 2 uh super saiyan 2 kale not too useful but super saiyan 2 califla very very useful uh, both in their base form are also pretty solid as well. So both in their base form are very, very solid, very helpful characters. Uh, obviously for Kale, base Kale, 
you can't really use her for the berserk kills which is a bit of a shame um, but for Khalifla you can use her for obviously the base Khaliflas of which there's two and you can also use her for the Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla so there is an added benefit to Khalifla that doesn't exist currently with Kale but I'm sure will change uh, over time then you know obviously from that event we move down into the next one uh, again just more good units for across the board so you have here a baseline Goku you don't need to worry about using this Goku uh, but he turns into MUI Goku or UI Goku I should say so he turns into UI Goku you can kind of see here uh, obviously he turns into or Doken's awakened into that Goku you then also have a Gohan ultimate and you also have a Frieza Final Form Angel. Um, so the Goku, pretty useful. I wouldn't use the base form, but if you have Strength UI Goku or Tech MUI Goku LRs, I would definitely use this Goku to save yourself some Kai's on them. Uh, very, very helpful. Then, you know, we also have the Gohan, uh, Ultimate Gohan, very useful again as well. So a couple of LR Ultimate Gohans that people have probably received or got recently. Uh, that you're probably working on um, very useful for that you know across the board incredibly useful character and then you know you also have the freezer now there's only one notable freezer final form angel uh war that i have the tech one but there's also the physical one that i don't have uh that players may want to go raise the super attack level of just saves you some kai's ultimately at the end of the day so it's not something you have to do but it is something that helps out um yeah at least across the board Next we have the um, last Universal Survival Saga one and this just features Kaba uh, and it's pretty good. Baseline Kaba, also Super Saiyan Kaba and also Super Saiyan 2. Not a lot of use for the Super Saiyan 2 variant right now uh, but quite a bit of utility out of the Super Saiyan Kaba. Uh, you can use it for the Int one, you can use it for the Strength one. Uh, just yeah, good way to save yourself some Kai's basically in terms of Kaba, who's a very very useful support in a lot of situations and that is honest yeah i want to say that's it um obviously uh beerus as well so a very quick return for this event but beerus uh beerus obviously being great for a lot of units actually strength beerus physical beerus the strength a lot beerus and Whis you can use it for in their base form in beerus uh Tech Beerus, AGL Beerus, I think you can't use for that one because Beerus and Rage, but basically, yeah, you can just use Beerus, 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 which is pretty cool. Then, uh, after that, there are also the currencies and the super attacks to farm. Uh, so, the currencies for more Kai's. Uh, so, right now, there's quite a few currencies that are up in the Bubba shop. Um, but there's only a couple of events that are up correlating to it. So the only events that are currently up are three. You have the Kachan event uh, from the Universal Survival Saga event. You have the Chocolates event, which gives you chocolates where you can get other kinds from. And then you also have the Beerus Monaka costume event with the bubblegum packets. So uh, that's three sets of four kinds, which is pretty cool. Twelve kinds there. But there was also a story update recently with uh, quite a few Kai's being added into the incredible gem portion of the store so there's definitely a pretty good incentive there to obviously pick up some Kai's as well so that should help you out overall but yeah I think uh, ultimately at the end of the day pretty good stuff uh, and I think yeah honestly not too much more to say but that's yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully I will see you guys in the next video uh, but until then if you do need any help specifically in farming a character or you just want to ask a question uh, you can go for it and yeah that's basically going to be it from me so thank you guys for watching and as always let me know if you need any more help otherwise i will see you guys in the next one and just remember to farm super attacks and kai's where possible to save yourself on kai's and also to have some backups when needed for when new units drop that cannot use farmable characters. Um, but yeah, and that's it. So thank you guys very much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.